Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. Today I'll guide you on how to use CSV input in automations. Let's get started. First, select your automation. For the purpose of this video, I will choose the LinkedIn profile autofollow. Once you have selected your automation, choose use CSV file for your input. Preparing your CSV file. I have set up a sample CSV file with LinkedIn profile URLs to use with the autofollow automation. A very important step in formatting your CSV file is that each column needs to have a header. This allows you to map each column correctly to the specific automation fields. As you can see, I have several columns and each of them has a header. I can either drag and drop or I can browse my files to select the CSV file that I want to use. Now, once you have uploaded your CSV file, you can map the automation fields to the headers from your CSV file. In this case, it would be profile URL. You want to make sure that you select the correct profile header, which is going the correct header, which is going to be profile link in my case. And then you can go ahead and run your automation. One thing I would like to keep in mind is that the limit for this automation, for example, if your automation daily limit is 50 and your CSV file has 100 rows, the automation will stop when the limit is reached and continue when the limit is renewed, for example, the next day. This means that one automation can take more than one day to complete and will have multiple executions. Also, I would like to explain to you about stopping the automation. You will see a stop button here, which means that uh, this stop button will stop the future executions from processing. If you want to stop only the current execution of the automation, you can use the small X button here under the status. And that is it. Using CSV files in automations with Texo is a straightforward way to manage and streamline your tasks. Explore these options and see how they can help you enhance your workflows. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.